My oh my. Got some stuff going on here. Let me check it out. It's in for a brake job, but uh, I've got some other lights he's got a concern about. And let's see what this report has here. Now he said the check engine light went out. So it does have some cam sensor codes. It's um, an immobilizer or something going on here. I don't know. Who's this? Is that? I don't know. I don't think any of these are current. But, um, yeah, some cam sensor stuff going on there. I'll take a quick look and see because he, he did have squirrels eat the hell out of this at one time. So I'll just take a quick look. Uh, I'm not here to do a, a diagnostic. I just want to do uh, a little bit of a look around, see if I see any more uh, rodent stuff going on. The brake system, I don't even know what that is, but I'm here to do the brakes. He says he does have the ABS light on and stuff like that, which with these Toyotas, if anything goes wrong, it seems like every light turns on. Um, I wonder if his battery died at some point. He's got some power supply stuff going on. It looks like right hand circuit. C200, C0200. Front speed sensor, right hand side. So I'll take a look at that too. Pop my head under there. There's a little bit of damage to the bumper uh, on that side and everything. Maybe he ran over, I think he did say he ran over like a branch or something at one one point. Uh, I'll take a quick look at that too. I was supposed to do front and rear brakes, but unfortunately, he when he ordered the parts, they only gave him the rears. So I'm going to just do the rears. He's got... 250, basically 251,000 miles, and fancy, fancy ones for the grinded up brakes back there. See some damage there. Some zippy tie modification. This was hanging off. I just pushed the tape back on. Um, brake fluid is a little low. I'll check the wiring there, see, make sure nothing's eaten up. I don't know what cam sensor is what. That's Okay, as far as wiring, this looks okay. I don't see anything obvious. Um, I did put an alternator in this. I did do a water pump and a tensioner as well. O2 sensors I've done on this. This is the one that the whole thing was eaten, eaten apart. So I had to like fix that. Squirrel really went to town on this thing. Um, the PCV kicked my ass. Uh, I had a problem and I thought it was something else. And I was like, ah, it couldn't be the PCV. It couldn't be that so I was wrong. It was. Everything looks normal. I did the struts as well. I did a lot of work on this. I don't see anything obvious sticking out. There's a leaf down there. I don't see any rodent stuff going on. Turn my light on. Yeah, I think we're uh sensor right oh, sensor. I can't really get back here. Who is that? I don't know if there's a sensor back there for that. 
with this It's like a wiring thing there. see that. It's like an empty sheath, but I don't know if it goes to anything. Uh, well, the check engine light's not on right now, so I, I don't think that's the problem, because if that was, bro that was broken, it would be, the check engine light would be on. I'm going to start this up and move the wheel so I can look at the sensor. Well, there it is. There's the problem. Okay, that was a quick, easy one. All right, well, that's done. Give a freebie to him. He's a very, very good friend of mine. He's helped me out a lot with uh, some personal stuff. And uh, there you go, the JBS sensor. Easy peasy. As you can see, every light is pretty much on. You got four wheel drive, uh, maintenance, just ignore that. ABS and your VSC, and his TPMS and his cruise control light is on. I don't know if that's on because, yeah, that's just cruise control is on. Um, yeah, no check engine light on right now. And check engine light is working. So that's all we got for that. Um, visual inspection on this one here. All right, brake job is done. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any, at least I don't think I have any extra uh, brake fluid. Uh, dot three, so you have to check. But I do believe this had an EVAP code on it, and I think visual. <laughs> What's that, huh? Uh, yeah, that's part of the EVAP system. Yeah, it must have been hanging down. The bracket's messed up here. So, that explains some of that. If I can, ah, it's too low. All right, well, I'm not going to worry about it too much. See if I can get that, bend that bracket down a little bit. I'll bend it down and then I'll bend it back up. Okay, so now that's secure, and it's tucked up under, and this is broken. Uh, see if I can find a zippy tie, put that back up there. But if it's leaking, there's probably something to do with it.